Alright, what's up y'all? My name is Austin, and today I'm going to show you how to farm the Big Iron Fishing Pole, which I believe is the best Phase 1 uh, fishing pole for Alliance. I think Horde has a quest that gives them one somewhere around this area that I think is 25 skill, but I could be wrong. Anyways, you want to come out here to Desolus next to this, uh, this big old rock. It's kind of a, a landmark. Because uh, when you loot these, uh, when you loot these traps, they have a chance to spawn a mob, and the mob will chase you to about, I want to say right about this area when you get underneath this boat, is usually when it leashes away from me. And uh, you'll know if a mob's going to spawn from one of these crates if you loot it and you don't get an actual item in your bags. So you just come over here and just loot this real quick. And these mobs will cast a frost shock on you, so if you're a druid, you can just shift out of it and it's no big deal. See, I got, a, I got a, some shellfish, so nothing's going to spawn out of that one. And if you do get unlucky and a mob does spawn, uh, they will puppy guard the cage for roughly five minutes and then they just die. And you just kind of repeat this over and over again until you end up getting lucky and getting a fishing pole. See right here, I think I got a mob. Oh no, I didn't. I got a shellfish. But if you do get a mob, you want to just run over here. You just keep running this way. Eventually the mob will just leash back to the uh, cage and you're just good to go. But I hope you found this video helpful. Um, good luck on your fishing poles. Um, I had a couple friends and me out here farming these and we ended up getting three of them in about an hour and a half. But I was super lucky and I got two of them within the span of 20 minutes of each other from just camping these two cages. I think these cages are probably the safest ones. Uh, some of the mobs that pat around some of these other ones that are down here are uh, pretty much double question mark, just super high level mobs. And there's other just random level 34 to 35 ish ones that kind of pat around. But uh, let's, let's see if we can get an example of a mob chasing us. So I can show you how to get away from it. And these uh, these crates do respawn every, I want to say every two minutes. Uh, hopefully we'll get one up pretty soon. Uh, usually when I'm just sitting here farming this, you can just grab it and then uh, camp the other one if there's a mob. And if there's two mobs puppy guarding these two, I'll just like tab out and play a round of like a different game or something and then just tab back in every five minutes just to wait for them to die. But we got shellfish, so no mob spawn. So let's check this one one last time. Not keep this going on for too long. This man hasn't spawned yet. But uh, if you're feeling a bit more ambitious, you can run around and grab some more of these other ones. If you're not a water breathing class, there are some that are near some cracks in the ground that do give you water breathing. Uh, if you're a warlock, it might be slightly easier because you could just have your pet tank the mob and just loot it and run away. But let's see if we get a mob here. Okay, we just got shellfish. <laughs> But yeah, like I said, if you do pull a mob, just go ahead and run up towards that boat over there by Shadow Prey Village. Usually when you run about past that boat, the mob will just stop hitting you, assuming you're still alive. But you just, I mean, you just do that on repeat. Uh, as far as I know, these things haven't really been posted up on the auction, so I don't really know how much they're worth, but they are the best alliance fishing pole currently in the game. And I've seen some comments on Wowhead that said, Oh, I've been here forever and I never got them. I'd say just just do this. Just find a chill method. Just grab a couple, tab out five minutes, tab back in. But I uh, hope you found this video helpful. Uh, good luck on your fishing poles. These are pretty nice. Uh, thanks for watching and like, comment, and subscribe.